Hey people, I'm Steve, your host for Redheaded Adventures. I just happened to be driving by and I found a small tot lot. So we're gonna check it out, pick up some garbage. And uh, I'm gonna use the AT Garrett Pro with the sniper coil. I can get in and around the metal objects better with the sniper coil than I can with the larger one on the Knox. Uh, it's a little cloudy, a little fog rolled in this morning uh, it's in the 60s it's supposed to be almost 80 today and then cool off again so let's get to it let's go find some stuff and uh, pick up some trash hmm. for our first good find it's a dime right on the surface uh, picked up some aluminum uh, lawnmower slaw that got tossed in here so getting trash out this rang up low in the 50s. Oh, it's a token. It's a crab tree. Man, I got a few of these, but uh, it's still a token, and I like tokens. There we go, crab tree. Nice. Rang up like a dime, but. You can see that is a Lincoln. Nice. That's a wheat back. <laughs> really? Right here, a wheat back? Maybe somebody dropped it. 19. Twenty-nine, I think I'll get a better look at it a little bit later but I think that's what that says 29 insane that rang up pretty good and it's right there uh, it looks pretty fresh 19 no it's a 2021 and this is the this is state. Oh, this is George crossing the Delaware. Oh, gotta check this to see if he's got that um, issue with his hat, which means he's got a crown. I think it's called a, a chip or die clash or something. We'll check that one out. I just popped this out of the ground and got cleaning it to see what it is, but. I think it might be a piece of jewelry, costume jewelry, bring up in the 80s. Uh, and that looks like a flower there. Kind of round, maybe a button. But it's got a design on it. Yeah, interesting. Very alive. Let's get there. Well, we're at a second designation. All right. We are at our second destination, another park. Uh, that first one was pretty clean. Did get some uh, can slot out of the uh, sawdust and stuff and a few coins. So let's take a look around here and see what we got. Well, at least it's not a penny. Uh, we got ourselves a nice nickel. And Jefferson in the house. So it's an older model. And it's not uh, a new half face one. I don't know what the date is, but we'll get it. <laughs> uh, I think I found something kind of cool. Not sure. It rang up kind of low, maybe 60s. Let's see. Yeah, right in that 60, high 60, low 70. So it's right there. Whoa, I got a ring. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this is copper and it's a uh, kid's ring, moon and stars. Oh, is this a mood ring? Hold my finger on it, I think so. Maybe, but uh, a little shiny on the inside, but the edges are worn, copper, so 
I'm gonna say uh, costume and it doesn't even fit my pinky cool hey <laughs> it's me again uh, another mm, 68 on the uh, Garrett I think that's what it was we'll double check 6870 yeah and uh, what do you think we got <laughs> right there ah uh, it's still in the clump look at that a stone's missing oh no Uh, it feels a little rough. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna say bling ring, but that's still another ring with a heart. I should have had a stone in it. And yeah, there's some corrosion right there. So, kids' ring, bling, but it's pretty. Oh, there we go. Got a good find right there. That'll be a dime. Yeah, not too long on the ground. I don't think that's a penny. Nope. That's a rosy. Hmm. Pretty tarnished. AT Pro about 53. And that would be a nickel. And that's a side face, so it's a newer one. But I still got the house. Okay. <laughs> would you look at that? I don't even have to dig for that one. It's very lightweight. So it looks plastic. Yeah. It feels plastic. But why did it ring up? Nope, it didn't ring up. That means there's something else down there. Plastic. Here we go. We got a quarter. Uh-huh. National Parks, I think. This is the uh, Salt River Marsh. Yeah. Cool. Quarter. Don't forget, check your hole twice because that quarter was right here and there's a dime hiding right there. Nice. <laughs> I just got this out. It's got a hole here and a hole there so it must have went on to a necklace or bracelet or something it looks pretty tiny it looks religious like uh, that there is Jesus with a halo on this side is a cross and it has some words on it ring up kind of low in the 60s so probably another piece of bling it's still cool though. There it is. A nickel. And it's a new face. Ring up like a nickel. But I think I have some more bling. Four circles there. But it looks like it's just plated something. Alright, got a little piece of bling. Might have been a buckle or something, the way that shaped. Or a pendant. Or a brooch. Or anything. Cool. Nice high 80 signal. And that's going to be an old eagle quarter. Yep, 94. Cool. Let's go find some more stuff. Right down there in the bottom. Uh, it's a nickel. Nice. 
Oh, it's running up like 90 on my Garrett, and there's a sticker right there. Seems to be solid aluminum, and there's three rivets in a hole. And that hole does not seem to be threaded or anything, so I have no idea, but it rang up really nice. It's got some weight to it, so I'm thinking it's pretty solid. Cool. Whatever that is. Looks like I just got a dime. I think that's what that is. Yeah, it's it's a rosy. It's uh, a little dirty. Okay, we're at uh, destination number three. Uh, that last park turned up some pretty good items and some coins, but it had more pull tabs in it. Got some of the trash out of the playground area so I'm gonna swing the Knox 600 here because it's a little bit bigger coil and I see that there's a lot of bottle caps on the ground so let's see if we can uh, get in and around those and find some good stuff man this area is so noisy with pull tabs and bottle caps and just garbage but there's a dime I did find a penny. Uh, nothing special there, but got a dime. Sweet. It's a dime. Sweet. And troll train. I can hear it. Oh, there it is. It's over there. You can see the headlights. Here's another dime. It's a rosy and it's brown and it's got a little lawnmower whack right there. Cool. Bottle cap, 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 quarter. Right on top of the ground. Uh, small impression and we have uh, which one is this I'm not sure uh-huh quarter right on top of the ground hey welcome to the roundup and uh, that was an awesome day that was a three park search in one day and I found some pretty cool stuff uh, you see, I am wearing my uh, Waco Metal Detecting Team shirt and my new Waco Metal Detecting Team hat. Uh, one of our members in our group is uh, making these. Uh, these are prototypes for right now, but thanks Terry. Uh, these are fantastic. He's going to get a new machine and start producing uh, some t-shirts and hats for us. So thanks Terry. Awesome. Uh, so you're here for the roundup. Let's go over that. We found some pretty good items. So let me show you what we found. There was so much garbage in those parks. Uh, the first one was pretty clean. Uh, second one uh, wasn't too bad. And then um, the last one was just loaded with bottle caps and pull tabs. So uh, we found some, uh, we found a few nickels. We got a few dimes. Uh, and we got a few quarters and a bunch of pennies. We usually always find pennies 
everywhere we go. So you can't get away from those. Um, well, we did find one crab tree token. Uh, I have a few of these already, but these are really cool. Uh, I still can't figure this one out, but if you know what it is, go ahead and drop a comment. Uh, but I, I'm guessing this is a magnetic key since it sticks to metal. Um, let's see, what do I got that's metal? That's it right there. Yeah, see, it's metal. So I think it might be one of those magnetic keys of some sort. Um, so let me know if you know what that is. Not really sure. Uh, I did have a really nice uh, three ring day. So this is the first one I found. It's a uh, moon and stars ring. Uh, it's uh, copper on the edges. You can see it coming through right there. So this is not uh, silver or anything precious. Uh, one plastic ring. It's got a split there. There was something there, but it's not there, but still a ring. And then uh, third ring is this one here. Nice heart missing the stone. And this is uh, just another bling ring. Still trying to figure out what this is. Uh, one, two, three, four looking shells on that side. Dots on this side could be a small buckle off of a toy purse or something, or it could be anything. Uh, this was pretty cool. That's really, really, really tiny. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that is supposed to be a uh, Saint uh, Benedict, I believe. And then the cross on the side. I'll put up a picture and that's what the original looks like uh, in close-up it's not silver it's going to be a little bit of copper you can see it wearing through right there and a find for the day is this penny now I suspect that this was a dropped penny uh, since it was in that sawdust and it was in pretty good condition. Now, this is a 1928 wheat back penny. Nice. Not too often do you find these in a park because usually the soil's turned, uh, the sawdust gets taken out, and things like that. It's not my oldest one. My oldest uh, wheat back is a 1910 that I found over next to a school. But 1928 that is an awesome find all right uh, 1928 uh, thanks for everybody for coming by and stopping in to uh, watch and check out my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, hit the like button leave a comment let me know how things are going hey even mention something you found so thanks everybody for watching and don't forget, wherever you go and whatever you do, have fun, as long as it's legal. Thanks, everybody.